fans think about where the Giants are at, where the front office is at, where the team is as far as the timeline of getting these young these young guys up and effectively affecting winning at 888-957-9570. Like, like if, I, if I told you they spent all that money on a bunch of you know, kind of mid-level guys and they missed on the big boys and they're here... Isn't that isn't that exactly what you want? And to your and, and like you said, you said it, Steiny. This is more fun. This is more fun than the alternative, right? I think so. I absolutely think so. Um, look, you look at the the last two teams that have won championships, the Giants and the Golden State Warriors, and look at the cores. Look at both of their cores: Steph, Draymond, Clay Thompson. They were all drafted by the Warriors. You look at the Giants: Baumgartner, Lincecum. Kane, Belt, Posey, Crawford, all those guys, uh, homegrown players. There's something about a homegrown player that's better than a free agent. And I, I know I said that in the first segment, but and I know this is a little bit of a, not the greatest analogy, but it's the difference between Steph Curry and Kevin Durant. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a different level of love for a player who you've seen Start his career with your team. There, there just is, and it, it's the best way I think to do it because you can see how a team's getting better, how players are getting better over time. I, you, you know, how I'm a stickler for being right. Uh, a couple mistakes I made. I guess I said it. I said rewinded. Yeah, it's of course rewound. And then we do have to be more specific about the pitch. That Kruko was complaining about. It was actually the bottom of the first. It was Waka's first pitch. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, it was thank first you. pitch from the opposing team. Yes, but you. when I want to, I want to stay there with that that kind of comparison between Steph and KD because uh, KD got the red carpet rolled out for him. I mean, July fourth, twenty sixteen. I, I remember where I was. I think everyone was excited about that free agent acquisition. I'm sure the same thing would have been the case with Aaron Judge if he was a San Francisco Giant this year. But how long would that have lasted? And especially if the Giants weren't good. Or even if they are right now in second place. There there are probably some people out there saying, well, you went on on and got the guy who just broke the AL home run record. You should be in first place. Like, anything less than that, the expectations that come with acquiring an Aaron Judge or in this next offseason, if you go after a guy like Shohei Otani, those expectations automatically catapult into a completely different stratosphere than the ones they have right now. But you know what I remember hearing when the Giants were going after Aaron Judge? You know, they need more than Aaron Judge. When the Giants were in the mix for Aaron Judge, the thought process among fans was not, if we get Aaron Judge, we're the best team in the National League. It wasn't that at all. Because there were many people talking about the alternative, which is maybe instead of one Aaron Judge, you fill a few spots with with players not as good as Aaron Judge, but you get more depth. That's the one thing I do remember about the whole Judge and Correa thing. Even though Giants fans wanted them and wanted them badly, I do not remember Giants fans saying, we get Judge, we're, we're set. They weren't. They just wanted Judge to be a centerpiece of something. So I, in that respect, um, this, this year I think it's even more of a surprise for those kind of fans because, like I said, they didn't think getting Judge was going to automatically make the Giants one of the top three teams in the National League. Not yet, anyway. Well, I think it was also about being seen in the same light as, let's face it, the Dodgers because the Dodgers right. have made just about – Every right move you can when it comes to acquiring talent, developing talent, going out trading, getting big names on the free agent market. They, they've kind of checked every single box that I think a lot of baseball fans want. And fans want to root for a perennial winner. And, but that's, and that's the denominator in all of this. If you win, I don't, I don't give a damn how you do it. The Los Angeles Dodgers have won one World Series. And some people tried to take that away from them, of course, because it was in the pandemic-shortened season. But they're always in it. And to me, that is the goal. To 100% be all in on being a player, on being a contender. And I, I, I differ from you in that I think that the playoffs are maybe easier in baseball than other sports to 
walk away as champion. But if you're in the playoffs, if you're in the mix at in June, and I like to take the, the baseball season a month at a time, so you're in the mix in June. Okay, that's great. You're playing great baseball right now. Let's be in the mix in July. Let's be in the mix in August, in September. If you continue to play quality baseball, well, then I have to look at you like a good team. And I also have to look at the last couple of years. If the Giants make the playoffs this year, even if they don't win 100 games, if they get in as a wild card team or happen to run the gamut and win the division, then I do think we might look at last season maybe as being more of the fluke than 2021. Is that fair, or is that going too far? Say that one more time. So if the Giants get into the playoffs okay. this year with the same system that helped them to a 107 season two years ago, do we look at last year as the aberration as opposed to 2021? Because that's you know everyone has defined 2021 as you know an outlying season, something that you're never going to see again. Shouldn't have happened. It was a magical season. You can't recreate that. Well, I'm not saying you're going to win 107 games this year, but in a different way with more of an infusion of youth, you are recreating a little similar kind of feeling. Here's the way I look at it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Remember when uh, Kyle Shanahan... Okay, so Kyle Shanahan comes in. I, God, I should have the, the numbers right. Uh, but he came in, and two years they didn't make the playoffs, then they made the playoffs, then they didn't make the playoffs. And then in his fifth year... They got off to a, a shaky start. And at that point, I think it was fair to say, what's, this, what's Shanahan all about? Uh, is he really good enough? Well, what happened? In three of the last four years, the 49ers have gone to at least the NFC Championship game. Mm -hmm. So Shanahan's done in a good way. In other words, he weathered the early storm of the 49ers – uh, transitioning off Tom Sula and Kelly. And now he's set for a while. To me, Farhan, and maybe to a lesser degree, Kapler, um, they finish with 90 wins this year. Mm -hmm. then, I, then, I think, then I think they turn the corner into a lot of job security. I really do, because at that point, you won't be able to argue with the results, which are two postseasons in the last three years. In the year you missed, we were 500. And we acknowledge we we probably don't have as much talent outright as the Padres and the Dodgers. So, I, I mean, I think the way we've talked, it was a big year for Farhan coming into the year. Big year for Farhan and Kapler. Okay, well, they're 40 and 32. They make the postseason, they, they're, they get a reset. That, that tells me they're going to be here for at least another two years. Yeah, and I, I think they will have earned that. Uh, I do wonder if people are still in the mindset. Like, if, if, if you don't believe that this season is for real, I, 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 I can't look. We, we are still in June. But right now, the Giants, I think, compared to what we believe them to be in the offseason, have far exceeded expectations. And I think the crowd last night was also an indication of that. It was a holiday. People had some time off. It probably won't be 35,500 like it was last night tonight on a Tuesday night. But people are taking an interest in the Giants, and the Giants are demanding your attention. That, to me, is worth something. 